Monaco were looking for a pick-me-up after Gangon dumped them from the Coupe de France in midweek. The perfect tonic would be three points against visiting Nice. Rubber stamp their place on the Ligue 1 podium. The lifelong fan Alexi Bassetti watched from the stands with the travelling support as injury Rob Nice of his services as Claude Puel looked to end a run of four games without a win and one in the Stade Louis Du since 2008. Well, Claudio Ranieri's minimum requirement since the summer's promotion was Champions League football. Dimitar Berbatov arrived in January from Fulham to help try and secure that. Five minutes in, the Bulgarian made a lasting impact. Gian Martino's strike cleared, but it came back to the Portuguese international. Terrific ball over the top. And a nonchalant effort from the Bulgarian finding the far corner. 1-0 for the Principality. Onside, Berbatov. A wry smile after scoring. Not sure if it was a cross or a shot. But the end result. Monaco lead by 1-0. A whirlwind opening 15 minutes. Could have been doubled. Jean Martino again showed terrific ball. Well, yeah, Germain breaking the offside trap. The post denied him. Terrific improvisation to find Berbatov. He was denied by the defender on the line. Well, Germain denied by the post. His fifth of the season, while well, Berbatov denied. Well, Falcalf watched on from the stands, and he would have been worried as his teammates. The ball found its way to Valentin Iseric. He scored the winner in their last away day victory at Marseille, but Daniel Subasic denied him there. Well, a warning for the Principality at the half-time whistle. It appeared to be one the hosts didn't heed. Well, Nice have the third worst away record in Ligue 1. But they threatened to find an equaliser. Slackness from Andrea Raghi. That sent Dario Sivtanic through. Subasic again up to the task. For the Argentine, no goal since the 18th of January. 19 last season. Nowhere near as prolific. Well, the Croatian keeper Subasic was the real hero for Monaco, saving brilliantly from Matteo Bonmer's header. The question was, was it over the line? Unfortunately, France, unlike the English Premier League, no goal line technology. No goal given. And Monaco held on 1-0 enough to secure a top three finish and likely automatic promotion to the Champions League a first time in a decade.